how to speed paint these creepy ghouls today on Dungeon Craft. Hey, Professor Dungeon Master here in the workshop, and today we're going to paint these WizKids Ghoul Minis. This is a terrific project if you're new at painting. This takes like no experience. I think there's four or five colors. I'm going to be using Army Painter Quick Shade. That's the only expensive thing I use. I highly recommend it for your models. Even if you're a novice painter, you can paint these minis in a very short amount of time, and it's going to look pretty professional. So I've got the basic version where your model will look good enough for the tabletop and good enough to impress your friends. And then I've got the extra credit version where I show you how to do some eyes. Not necessary, but it will take it to the next level of cool. I picked these up the other day at my local hobby shop for $4.99 and they come pre-primed with Vallejo primer, so that saves a step. My primary color palette only includes three colors. I've got a light blue sample from Reaper, a linen white, and Citadel's Ustapi Bone. I add two or three drops of water to a drop of Ustapi Bone, mix it up, that way the paint is nice and thin. I'm looking for the consistency of skim milk. I use this color for the loincloth. And today I'm painting this entire model with this number one round synthetic brush. It's like the cheapest brush you can buy. To my linen white, I add just a drop of light blue. I'm going to add a few drops of water and use this palette blue to paint the skin. I painted the tongue blood red and the base is brown for some contrast. I think here I used Reaper Basic Dirt. And that's it, three or four colors in about 10 minutes. Next we have to shade the model and I'm gonna use one of my all-time favorite products, Army Painters Strong Tone Quick Shade. Quick Shade is an oil-based lacquer so you wanna use rubber gloves while using it and you wanna stir it thoroughly and just coat your model with it. Some people even dip the model entirely inside. This is called the dip method. Because it is oil-based, you'll need to clean your brush with mineral spirits, or do what I do, use a very cheap brush and just throw it away at the end. It takes about 24 hours for the quick shade to cure, and when it does, it's going to look shiny like this. So there's going to be one more step. Spray it with Tester's Dull Coat Lacquer. When you do, it's going to look like this. See how it takes the sheen off? That's the basic paint job. At this point, your ghouls are table ready. But if you want to go for extra credit, I'll show you how to do the eyes. Using a number one Winsor Newton brush, I paint the entire eye socket Reaper Black Green. Then I switch to a Winsor Newton Zero brush to paint the whites of the eyes. This is the only thing I use a Zero brush for. It's important to use the right tool for the right job. I also hold my breath while I do it. That's key to maintaining a steady hand. If you screw up, don't worry about it. Just repaint that socket black green and try again. I don't bother putting a pupil. I think they look scarier without one. And that's it. We're done. This is, took me about 20 minutes of total working time. Most of the time is spent just waiting for the paint and the quick shade to dry. So there you go. Those are your ghouls. They're ready for the table. And if you like this video, give it the thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, you can put them below and I'll answer them. If you enjoyed this video and you want more videos about painting and crafting and Dungeons and Dragons in general, you should subscribe to Dungeon Craft and click the bell icon so you're informed as soon as new videos are uploaded. This has been Professor Dungeon Master for Dungeon Craft. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you at the table. May all your rolls be 20s.